I know you bought this hospital, but I am Ryan's attending, and I don't want him upset by some huge oozing ball wow. of insecurity. Wow, never ends with You're you. You're gonna hound him. He's sick. Hence my He's wanting sick. to don't check on him. Me. You don't want to check on him. You want to upset him. You want to get in his face, and you want to upset him. He is my patient. He has had an aneurysm. If you do that, you will be slapped with a lawsuit. This place will be buried with legal fees for years. Stay the hell out of this room. What did you I mean? Thank with... you. For what? For dropping the charges against me. Knowing I wouldn't be facing a pair of handcuffs when I came home. Well, the person you should be thinking is Ryan. I needed help with fusion, and he wouldn't give it to me unless I dropped the whole thing. So I did. Well, I'm grateful. Especially because it allowed me to come back here to see Ryan. You know, I'm actually surprised you're even talking to me. And you must have heard the rumors with the Miranda scandal and your mom's plane crash. I don't think now's the time to get into that, do you? I mean, especially with everything going on with Ryan. Do you think he's... I don't know, but I'm scared. Did he say anything? I mean, when you mentioned my name and he got so upset. He just... He said your name. Jake said he, he busted out of here. He was without being released. He, he went to see you. I guess he was trying to get some sort of information or something. I mean, it must have been pretty important for Ryan to risk his life. So Kendall is working on Greenlee, and I got David to hold off. Excellent. If, if, if you get in trouble, no, something no, happens no, no, to no, you because of this. The beauty of this charade is that your symptoms, they don't have a test for this. He can't prove anything. He can't prove anything. It is not the secret knock. Go. Oh my God. Oh my God, Ryan. Can you hear me? Oh my God, how long has he been like this? A while now, and it's really important that he gets his rest. Well, no, I'm not leaving. Well, I'm telling you that you're leaving. Please, doctor's orders. Jake, this is the father of my child. There are things I need to say to him in case, you know, I just hope he can hear me. I forgot you can't touch the stuff. Because you have trouble controlling your impulses. Booze, women, other people's companies. <laughs> Are you still whining about losing Cortland? You need to get over it. What are you doing hanging around my wife? Uncle Pete sent me here for a reason, thank you. And I'm here to make things right. Hell, yeah, good luck with that. Luck? Inside information, corporate espionage. Who needs luck? The sale of Cortland Chandler was by the book. We're clean. Clean? The very word gets dirty coming out of your mouth. You're exactly like your old man. You're not capable of clean. You go are. Keep on reaching. Well, I don't have far to reach. It's always a flaw. Let's see what's keeping my son. Your family's falling apart, Junior. <clears throat> I know it. You know it. Hell, everybody knows it. And your partner, Scotty. But old cousin Scotty, well, that's a team that's ready to collapse. You don't know a thing about my family. It's all unraveling, isn't it? Took less than five minutes with your wife to see that. If you think you can use her to get to me, I come at you it'll be face to face. As for Marissa, I wouldn't hurt her and I wouldn't use her. I leave that to you. That wasn't supposed to happen. I know. I was packing. I was ready to leave. I just wanted to help. I... I... I didn't mean to. I, I wasn't trying to take advantage. I know, I know. Of course. You never would. We both just lost people we love. and But this wasn't the way to handle things. No. No, we, we, were, we, were, we were angry. We were, we were hurt. It, it... I just needed something. Yeah. Well, I came up here for a reason, right?
Where do you think you'll go? I haven't gotten that far yet. All I know is I'm leaving JR.